We now invite you to watch the next part of Supreme Master Ching Hai's message entitled The Buddha or Messiah we have been waiting for is here now. Part 7 of 8 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on July 7th, 2024. Where, where are you going, my winter sun? me staying on the side of the sea if you are not yet a master if you don't know yet you are a buddha you cannot say that you are a buddha because that is very bad karma that is the worst crime you can commit in the universal spiritual law that's why you should not proclaim yourself a master when you're not buddha said you will be condemned in a relentless hell if committing such sin. Because you don't know anything. And you make your followers think that you are something. And then you act as if you're degrading all the Buddha's status, like comparing their superior holy status to your lowly, demonic, possessed level. You got that now? So don't do that, okay? If you are a bodhisattva, a true one, you will know it. If you know nothing about the real inner spiritual world, then you are not. So do not cheat vulnerable people for your own demonic low motive. The one in bodhisattva, he knows. You see, she told the Buddha what she possessed, what she practiced. The Quaning method, you know, the hearing inside method, the inner teaching method. That's why she can hear everywhere and help all sentient beings who call on her for help. Yeah? She was telling Buddha and his assembly the truth of her or his spiritual status, real status. Well, sometimes Quaning Bodhisattva appears in a female form and sometimes in the male form, so you can call as him or her, it doesn't matter. We don't really have any sexual, uh, <laughs> physical organ in the soul in order to say I'm a male or I'm a female. Hmm? Last life, the last one just before this life, I was a male in India. Yeah? I was Baba Savan Sinchi, Maharaj. Now I tell you the truth. I am not afraid to tell you the truth anymore. I used to be uh, more secretive. I didn't tell you all this personally. As I want to keep my work on earth a little longer, a little safer for you all. And now I'm telling you two things today. The last life I was Baba Sawan Singhji Maharaj. And this life, I am my true self. The real great Buddha has come. This time for a special purpose. I sacrifice everything, many things. Every day, every day I have trouble, I have pain, I have unfavorable issues. But I can deal with all that. I can deal with all that. I'm not telling you to feel sorry for me. No, no. If I can help anyone, I'm willing to. It's just you should know the truth now in case I'm recovering. But I'm not sure if I can last long physically. So I'm just telling you two things because I'm not afraid anymore. There's not much more anyone can do to me now. By God's grace, I can help anyone. I can liberate anyone who trusts me, who believes in me. But they should be more compassionate for themselves also. You see, to be a dignified human, it's not just relying on my help. God helps those who help themselves. That's what it is. You should help yourself. You are the Buddha, the future Buddha. I mean, on the way to Buddhahood, you are the children of God. Be worthy of it. That's all. Be dignified. Be good for yourself and for others. Hmm? And every day be grateful to God, to all the saints and sages who sacrifice their utmost for you. 
And that's why no wonder all the followers of the real masters truly worship them and truly are grateful to them because they have experiences of greatness from the master's power and blessing. Of course, you are my disciples. You are the best. You are the most powerful on this planet. And you know that already. Not everyone, no matter how many years long they practice, has those experiences that you have inside, the inner experiences of the inner world, of meeting God, of meeting God Jesus, meeting Buddha in their own holy land. Not everyone on this planet has that. They might have some lower level, like astral level. Those levels are already so beautiful that nobody wants to leave and come back to this turbulent and, sorry, not very clean world in the physical realm. But you, my so-called disciples, you are great, you are wonderful, you are powerful. No one can do what you do. I don't mean all of you are like that. You check yourself and you know whether you are <laughs> Uh, the good one, the medium one, or uh, the lower one, or the worse than low even. Some of you still being possessed by the concept of demons. Thus you let the demons use you for your own uh, selfish gain. And that is a pitiful thing, because I can't help you. Because you do the opposite thing of my teachings. You have been my disciples for a long time, some of those people. And I have never asked you for one penny or anything at all. So how could you do that to others? Huh? All the my so-called monks, even if I send them out on the list to go to give initiation to others, I pay for them. I pay for the airplane ticket, for taxi, for petroleum even, if one of your brothers or sisters takes them to their initiation area. We never take anything from you. So why, if you so-called follow me, you copy me, do everything similar, except you taking one, huh? That's no good. You must know that's very bad karma for you. People's money, they earn by sweat and tears. They have their family to take care of. They have government taxes to pay. They have their car to repair. They have their children who are not always healthy or fit to take care of, they have their parents to take care of, they have their siblings to worry about also. They have other things to do. Their money is their sweat and tears. That's why I make business to take care of my monks and for whatever expenses I have. At the moment, my expenses are very little because I, I eat once a day or now and then maybe couple of drinks of soup or something, you know, simple. But uh, mostly it's just like that. Once a day you feel full already. Good enough. And if in the evening you feel a little hungry, you just drink some water. Warm water or cold water. Depends on climate or depends on your liking. And then you're okay. It's just flitting, you know. You feel maybe hungry for just a few seconds. And then you're busy, you do something else, you go do meditation, you go prostrate to God, Buddhas and Masters to thank them. Then you feel nothing or hunger anymore, it's just illusion, really. Concerning the soup, in case you want to copy it, like many other things, it's very easy nowadays. You don't even have to cook. There are some like broth cubes, yes, or broth powder, you just put in a cup and uh, throw a couple of leaves of uh, salad in it and pour hot water on it. And that's it. You can drink it right away, you know. Or there's some dry stuff, dry powder. Very thin soup and very simple, okay. In case you really have some stomach problems sometimes, because sometimes when you don't eat a lot, uh, during uh, some days when you don't feel well or you too stressed out or you don't want to eat anything, so you eat very little and then maybe in the afternoon you feel a little stomach problem, like gas, bubbling and hurting your stomach, then you better drink something, either 
water, uh, this kind of simple soup. Yeah, I, I really use it. I, I didn't use it up to now yet. But in case you want to, you can. Mm. I just prepare a couple of these uh, small packages in case I needed them. But I didn't need it. You prepare dry things in case you don't want to keep buying. It's very simple to take care of yourself. In case you want to copy, but I don't recommend anything, all right? And concerning the dress I wear, I don't wear monk's robes anymore or any priest's robes anymore, even though I also have joined some monk orders, Hinduism, Buddhism, as well as uh, Christianity. Yeah, I have a missioner's kind of certificate. <laughs> you know, like I've been certified as a missioner, but uh, I don't wear any of them because I don't want to single out one uh, religion and proclaim it as the only one the best one, and the rest are inferior. That's why I don't want. As some said before, that I wanted to take their disciples, their followers, by wearing the same kind of robe. And so I don't want people to keep bowing to me, prostrating to me, and giving me donations because I'm a monk of any kind. So that's why I earn my own money, one of the reasons also, because I feel humans suffer enough from making their own living. Why do I have to make more burden for them? My working group has a lot of people. I need to take care of them. That was the beginning of why we make business, because before I didn't have any home, and so many people follow me as monks, and they just live anywhere in the bushes and camping in the field or on the river bank is not all that good for them. They were young, so I was thinking I have to take care of them better. So we make business, and since then it's continued. Yeah. And thanks to God's grace and all the Buddha's blessings that uh, we also can make uh, some business, that uh, we can support ourselves and whatever extra we can help others who are in uh, dire situation like victims of a war or disaster. I'm grateful for all the help and all the generosity from heaven by God's grace that I could take care of myself and my team, my people, my leftover residents, you know, monks and nuns who are still there. Now, my only one, won't someone tell me if you ever return? Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, is a world renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, and artist. To learn more about her compassionate life and teachings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash master.